Enemy has A. Hello! This is another Nuketown video. Kinda feel dumb for uploading Nuketown again. And not only is it Nuketown again, it's another 88 kill game. I cannot. I can't believe it. it's actually really sad that it's it's 88 kills again. The thing is, I can't remember the deaths. I'll look at the end of the video, but uh, this time it's with the Cuda, and uh, the Koshik I was running was Talon and no no not Talon uh, V set rate or the the hater the hatter whatever you want to call it it's the V set basically and the Wraith and UAV. And uh, specialist is purifier, and uh, the specialist is actually like, I think it's good on their town, but I don't know if it'll, it'll be good on like many maps. Like, it'll probably be one that you can only use on a couple maps. But um, I think I start out pretty rough actually. Uh, like I said, I think this is at least like a 20 death game. It wasn't really a low death game, but uh, I was playing really, really aggressive. If I could see the score from an end I had for this game, it'd be insane. But like you'll, you'll see it. it's like extremely fast paced. Uh, I was playing with one other person, so it was uh, we had four randoms on our team. So I was like doing so much crap trying to hold B, but I didn't even realize I actually had a ton of kills until like the last minute or two. I realized I was at like 70, and uh, I just couldn't get the hundred. If I was running different streaks, I probably could, but I only have one lethal, and it's not that great on Nuketown, to be honest, because, like, everyone just sits in the building, so it's not, I didn't get that many kills with it. Most of these are actually gun kills, to be completely honest with you, but, um, yeah, on the Akuta, I've got Longbow and Fast Mags, I believe, and, uh, it's actually one of my favorite guns in the game, the Akuta. Uh... I haven't really actually heard that many people say that. I'm not sure why, because I think it's actually a really good gun. It feels like a like a COD 4 MP5. It's uh, it's kind of weird how it feels exactly like that. It's strange. Looks the same and everything as well. It looks like it'd actually be a terrible gun, but I like it. It's good. Um, yeah, I'll, the purifier is the flamethrower, and I got a five man in this game with it. Crazy. I'll try and remember when it comes up so I can point. You'll see it, obviously. But, uh, I got that, and I think I got a four man, and I think I also got I got a triple kill 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 with it. So it's pretty fun. It's fun to use. I think this is it. Yeah. Oh no, that was just a. I think that was a quad. That may have been a triple. But, yeah. Uh, it's it's actually pretty fun to use, um, but yeah, I'm pretty much done with Nuketown. I mean, it's Monday now, so it should be over. But dude, I freaking no life the mess out of it. Like my thumb was hurting at the end of the day because I played so much. Like it, it was ridiculous. But Nuketown is always gonna be one of the best maps, you know. But man, the people that play it. Oh, let me tell you, dude. This is probably the most stressful time Nuketown 24 7 I've ever played, dude. People just freaking sitting in the windows, dude, in the, the buildings. Like, that is all people did. It's insane, like, how many people play like that. Just super campy. Like, you can see me. Watch this. I did not know what was happening right then. This is the first time I've actually ever picked up a sniper right then. But I was out of ammo. But at this point, I knew I had my streak, so I was kind of being reckless. But, um... Yeah, man, people just camping so hard on Newtown. It's so annoying. I mean... Like, we'd be... If you've played Black Ops 3 this weekend, you know, dude. I mean, everyone just sits in the window with, like, the Gorgon LMG. It's like a two-shot kill. So it's pretty much everyone is just loving that and camping. And this kid straight drops the disrespect on my five head in the kill cam. <clears throat> but yeah, we lost this first round pretty hard. Um, 
I don't know. How, I mean, like, it's one thing that's really weird is you can be, like, dominating. Like, I've, I've really experienced this on, like, Black Ops 3 for sure. But, like, you see, I'm, like, 31 and 15. Next best person on my team is, like, 18 and 20. And it's just, like, super frustrating because, like, I will be dominating people and it's, like, my team can't get out of base. Like, how can you not get out of base when I'm, like, got a 2KD double positive, you know, like... I don't know. I don't know if it's like I'm just in better positioning myself, or if it's like my team just actually is bad. But uh, there's like a triple kill gravity spikes if you just saw that on the kill feed. But uh, yeah, gravity spikes is something that's actually been like crazy to me in Big Town. Like I don't understand how people are getting these triple kills like every time. Like every time I use gravity spikes, I get shot. As soon as as soon as they see me in the air, I get shot. Like, man, the amount of times I've died to gravity spikes on Newtown this weekend, it's incredible. But, uh, yeah, I've got my Wraith out right now. I think I get a quad with it here. It may have already happened. I think I would have seen it if it happened. Now. Maybe it's like the next one or something. But, as you see, I'm like, I'm not playing, like, safe at all. I'm rushing like an idiot. Like, I actually probably wasn't the smartest, but like, I'm just an extremely aggressive player, and I can play like smart too, but like, this game, my team, it, it was like, if I wasn't, here it is, look at that, that was a five man with the purifier, uh, it could have been six, but this last guy, I didn't know he was there when I was actually playing, so I could have jumped around and got him and it would have been a six man, but I goofed. But, um, I forget what I was talking about, honestly. Oh, yeah. So, rushing around, if I, if I wasn't playing, like, super aggressive like this, I feel like we would have just gotten spawn trapped. Because, like, you can see, look, look at the map right now. Like, my team is just coming out of base. Like, we got one teammate on B. But, like, the rest of the team, man, like... Like, it happened yesterday, too. Like, we lost the game simply because my team was, like, sitting in the base and the house sniping and not going in. I just don't, I don't understand that, but I guess people enjoy that type of thing. But I'm more into rushing around and getting kills and playing, like, just getting crazy, crazy scores. Not that this is, this actually isn't that crazy of a score. I mean, 80 kills. I've gotten on Black Ops 1, I think, the first time I ever played Newtown 24-7. I had, like, a 157-kill game. I was bad back then, too. Like, I I think I barely had a 1KD. I don't... I have no clue how I got that game, to be completely honest with you. But, uh... It's just... It's, I feel like it... That was with Chopper Gunner and Dogs, I think, or something. Killstreaks on this game aren't that... Good. I haven't used the mothership yet, but I've used almost kill. all the kill streaks I think that are not notably good. Um, but I, if someone can get 150 kill game on this town, hats off to them. It's not it's not too difficult, but I mean it definitely does take some skill for sure. But um. Uh, Right there. Dude, I did that so much this weekend, just jumping up through that window and trying to kill people out. Most of the time you die because they're just pre-aiming. There's all, there's always like two in the window too. Like, like you can see me sit in this room. Like, there's two people already tried to run in here. Now I die right here. There's two more people running right back into that same room. Like that's all people have been doing and it's so stressful to play against because I'm trying to play the, play the map. I mean, there's the quad with the wraith. And you see me running around and stuff, and like, it's just the fact that like, people camp this hard. Like, I can just keep running up in their house like this. Like, look at this, I'm just like destroying them right now. Going on a tear right here. And then I got shot through the wall, check that out. Like, he just shoots me through the wall. <laughs> but, um, that was pretty unfortunate. But I'll, I'll stop posting like Newtown crap, but like I said, that's all I've been po I mean, uh, playing this weekend. Obviously, Newtown 24-7 extremely fun um wow this kid's just got dumped on that was super late response to that but uh i've actually got 
have like a 45 and 5 game with a man of war on a. Dang, I forgot the map name. It's the one that was on the beta, though, the small map. I can't remember. Combine or something? Maybe that's it. But it's like kind of slow paced after I watched it. Like, I thought it was good, but I wasn't like camping. It's just like it, it wasn't a fast paced game. It wasn't really something I want to put up because it's. If it's not fast paced and interesting to me, then that would be interesting to anyone else considering all the different types of videos that are being put up right now. But yeah, I just roasted this house the entire game. Shouldn't have died right here, but I did. At this point, though, I was like, dang, I've got like 80 something kills. I need to try and break 90. But it's so, it, it's so sad that I actually got the exact same kills. Like, the most I've ever got on this game, on this map, there's another, there's a triple kill. The purifier again. But, uh, yeah, I finished 88 and 26. So, I think I had one more death than I did on the previous game. But, man, like. That purifier was super fun. That's mainly the reason I probably wouldn't have uploaded this to be completely honest with you if it wasn't for the purifier. But uh yeah. Good work. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, subscribe. I shouldn't have said that, that was really good.